I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. I'm going to share an item with you today that I've had actually down here in my dungeon for a couple years now, and this was a video I've wanted to do for a long time, but I just sort of never got around to it. Um, the item I'm going to share with you is something that is just phenomenal for LARP use. Um, if you're doing anything that's not historical, so in other words, if you're doing anything that's fantasy, whether it be post-apocalyptic, maybe modern, definitely medieval fantasy, uh, sci-fi, this is an item that you will love. If you do Halloween haunts, or you just like Halloween, or if you need a way to just scare the hell out of somebody, then this item is definitely for you. Many of you may already be acquainted with it, or you've heard about it. Maybe you've even heard one in use. But for those of you that don't know what I'm about to share with you, you're going to love this thing, okay? If you are, you know, the monsters, the NPCs, or uh, you are behind the scenes at a game, this is something you definitely want to have. It's called an Aztec Death Whistle. Now, historically, these were used, uh, they believe in sacrifices possibly by the Aztecs or maybe in battle as an intimidation tactic. Uh, they believe they were used sort of at the height of uh, Aztec civilization. Um, however, it seems like from the research I did that they're kind of uncertain, but definitely they found them at sacrifice sites and uh, they believe they may have been used on the battlefield. But regardless of what they may have been used for historically, I can tell you that at a LARP or any place where you need to make some noise and scare people, this thing is phenomenal. So the one I have is 3D printed. Um, now, they would have been made out of clay uh, or some other medium in the past. And I chose to get a 3D printed one just because if I'm going to carry this in a bag when I'm running around a LARP, I didn't want a really nice expensive uh, clay one to get broken or destroyed in some way. So I opted for the 3D printed one. Plus it's very inexpensive to make the 3D printed one. Um, these are available online anywhere. If you happen to have a kiln and you're good with clay and stuff, you could make one yourself, which I think would be phenomenal because you can make these look a lot different. This one sort of looks like a human skull, but you can get them in, you know, uh, tons of different patterns and designs. Uh, this one just happened to be, you know, a human skull. So we'll go ahead and show you how this thing sounds. Enough talking. I want you to uh, see for yourself what you think of this item. This is an Aztec death whistle, and it's very easy. You just blow into it like you would a normal whistle, and uh, how hard you blow is how loud it is. So I'll start out sort of low, and then I'll do it really loud. So imagine you're walking down a path at night. You're at a LARP. I don't know, you're in a haunted house, whatever you're gonna use this thing for. And just all of a sudden from like over your shoulder or from the tree line you hear <coughs> Like to me that's pretty scary because it doesn't sound immediately like someone screaming. It doesn't sound like an animal. It's just loud noise that is vaguely, you know, humanoid screaming. Uh, if you have multiple people with these, like if you had like five or 10 people with these, blowing them from around a battlefield or something. I think that that would cause some intimidation, especially if it was like dark, if it's like during new moon or something, you're having a, an evening fight or something. Uh, I feel like this could add a lot of atmosphere uh, to that, especially for me if you're dealing with undead or you know something crazy like that. Um, I don't know if you have like banshees at your game or something, maybe use something like this uh, to simulate that scream, but you know, very, very cool item. And um, like I said, if you do it a lot, you can start to hear sort of the non-organicness to it. But um, if you just do it uh, sort of like sparingly just to frighten people, uh, I think it creates confusion and can frighten people. I know the first time I blew into this, I scared everyone in the house because uh, they didn't know what was happening. Like I said, many purposes to use it for. Um, it's just an all around great item, I think, for any LARPer to have. Um, if you have a group of people that might be able to have fun with this, uh, it's just getting everyone one. Um, I bought this initially for my Assassin's Guild so we could mess with people, um, but then never actually really used it in the game. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, giving it a try once uh, some LARPs get started back up here, but I hope you'll consider getting one. It's called an Aztec Death Whistle, and you can find them online, uh, like I said, probably anywhere. 
if you want to make one, there's definitely patterns online to try to do it. Although it seems to be somewhat guarded, there are definitely patterns you can find. And if you want to 3D print one, I'm sure you can find the uh, uh, the uh, file somewhere to print it out. And like I said, there's lots of different kinds. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, subscribe to my channel. This is my last video of the year, but I'm going to keep it going strong into next year, uh, hopefully with more cool reviews and everything uh, that I do here. Uh, so please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, all that stuff I'm supposed to hit at the end of the video. And until next time, adventure on. Hello? Hello, is there anybody out there? Hello? I could have swore I heard something out here. Hello? Hello? Who is that over there? You there, show yourself.